Hi everyone, welcome to the program English Takeaway with Sadi Sambo, an online English lesson on Daybreak Television. In this edition of the program, we shall be going back to basics, where we shall be looking at parts of speech, and we begin with nouns. Nouns are building blocks in any language. In English in particular, in almost every sentence, you hardly go through the sentence without seeing a noun. So what is a noun? Look around, you will find that so many things you see and so many things you touch and so many things you feel have names. These names are what we mean by nouns. So you can simply say that nouns mean names or a noun is a name. So some people go further to say that a noun is a name of a person, animal, place or things. But you could also have things that you cannot touch, you cannot see, you only feel them. That means they do not have a physical existence and they are also nouns. Those kinds of nouns, we call them abstract nouns. Now let's go to examples of nouns. You have, for instance, Bello. You will say that I always give examples with Bello and I also give with John and I can also give with Mustafa and the rest of them. I can also talk about Mary. I can also talk about Laura. All these are examples of names of a person. But we can also have names of animals. Do I begin with a cat, more friendly? Or let me say a dog, another friendly pet we keep at home. Name them. Most animals around, you see, they also have names. But we can also have names of non-living objects, like the table, like the chair, like the car, motorcycle, bicycle, aircraft, and the rest of them, name them. So these are the examples of nouns. What are their types? Scholars identify four. Proper, common, abstract, collective. This is to say that Proper nouns name specific people, places, and things. Like, for instance, Gusau or Zamfara. Gusau is a specific name given to a particular town in Zamfara state. Lagos is another town in Nigeria. You could also have Ghana, Togo, Burkina Faso. And all these are names of a specific places, specific countries. When you mention Ghana, they will know a particular place referred to as Ghana in the African continent. Name them. So a proper noun is a specific name given to a particular person, particular place, or particular thing. Common noun, as the name implies, represents names given to things that are of common category. For instance, you can say city. You can say town, you can say boy, you can say girl, man, woman. All these are common names. A table is also a common name given to a particular item. So, or given to items uh, of same category. A table, for instance, and the rest of them. Then we go to abstract nouns. As the name implies, abstract nouns are names of things that do not have physical presence. Let me take this again. Abstract nouns are names of things that you cannot see, you cannot feel, names you cannot see, you cannot touch. They do not have a physical existence. Anger, for instance, you can't see it. Hunger, you can't see it. Patience, you cannot see it. Happiness, you cannot see it. You can only see its manifestation in the behaviors of human beings. These names are called abstract because they do not have a physical reality. They do not have a physical existence. And we have collective nouns. When you put items together of same categories and you give them a single name, you have what we call collective nouns. For instance, you say a family made up of a father, a mother, children. You can have a group. You can also have a syndicate. You can have a class, you can have a community, you can have a group. Or I have already said that you can also have a country of people. So you have names like a herd of cattle, 
a colony of insects, a band of choirs, a team of players, a gang of armed robbers, and the rest of them. When you use a single name to represent many things of the same group, you have what we call collective noun. In the next lesson, we shall touch other aspects of nouns. All we need to do is to hook up to our channel, Daybreak TV, and the program is English Takeaway with Sani Sambu. Don't miss it. What you do to us, share the video, subscribe to our channels, make sure others learn English. Let's learn English together. Goodbye.